Well, hello everybody. Welcome back. It is Jeff again, and I'm trying to go out and explore and find some new territory, and I've actually come across another Mushroom Island. I don't know if this one's been discovered. I'm looking at the map next to me. I have it loaded up just to kind of see where there's unexplored territory, and I do not believe this one's been discovered. I could be wrong, but either way, I'm not stopping. I know about where it's at. I got my cords up on the system. We're going to keep going, looking for something new. Be back. So guys, I've been boating forever, and I have to say I'm quite disappointed with the terrain generation once you hit the ocean, because something like this, this is like, I found like five of these little teeny islands, but that is all. I mean, I haven't found any major types of any terrain that stick up in that stick up at all. It's very annoying. I've, um, as you can see, I've gone about over 5,000 blocks in the X direction and about 3,000 in the Z direction, the Z direction, and I have yet to come across any lucrative pieces of land besides that mushroom area I showed you guys earlier, and I really just want to find a whole area of new terrain. That is my whole goal, Steve. There's something about to pop up over here. What is it? My my true goal is to actually find a new desert. I really want to find a desert village, which I have yet to find um, since the since the updates. But like this, this is like all I seem to be finding is these little areas that stick up. I would say let's just make a fun little house on an island, but when there's absolutely nothing else around... It is not nearly as exciting because there's nothing else to do. Um, I have found a couple of... I've seen light at the bottom as I've been traveling, so there's there's underground mine shafts and things like that in, in the ocean area. The problem is it's still in the ocean. Um, I'm at negative 10.5 X. I think it's a negative 10 Z and see if hopefully something will will appear to make this more of a fun adventure because I want to try out some of the new features just get some new terrain and uh, I'm unable to do such things just because this ocean is massive I don't even think we're playing on the extreme biomes or anything like that it's just I don't know I guess it's Minecraft mechanics but I'll come back to you guys when there's something to see. Well, everybody, I'm sorry to disappoint, but the best thing I can come up with to do at the present moment is jump out of this boat and go for this light. As you can see by my cords, I've kind of circled back and still have come to nothing. But let's make the most of this episode. It unfortunately looks like it might turn into a caving type episode because the string down there that's weird because oh look at all these railroad tracks this is all I can come up with to do so let's get rid of these cords grab some rail hey, look a chest and a squid two chests man look at all these railroad tracks yeah yeah 11 for doing nothing. Now, unfortunately, ey. let's get some dye while I'm here. Why not? Yay, black dye. Okay. Oh my god. Three diamonds? That was a pretty good, uh, good haul from those chests. You know what? Just because I have no idea where I'm going to end up, let's get these chests. Because I'll need something to store stuff in, because I'm not going to make it very far. <laughs> okay. So I guess, unfortunately, caving we go. What is this? Is that coal and redstone? Are, they, are there more chests right here? There are so many sounds going on, but I think it's because of the water sound that, uh... This is ridiculous, but 
There's obviously spiders around too, but there's more chests right here, which is crazy. Wonder if I can take this guy out without him blowing up this chest. Oh, I guess, you know what? He's in the water. Skeleton made him go, but... Redstone, nothing major in there. But I think there's another chest up here. I still see. So we're going to continue on. So, while I'm doing this, I can tell you guys about something. <laughs> something stupid that I did, and I find it... Oh, man, there's a cave spiders down there. Crap. Oh, shoot. That was not enough. I gotta watch out because this Enderman's up here. Um, where? There was lava there, I'm assuming. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, I don't have anything to block that off with right now. Oh my god, and I'm in... This poison is making it so I can't move through the water. Okay, I need to regain some health. Let me grab some blocks. I need to block that off because that is going to kill me very, very quickly. I hear fire, which is weird because all I see is water. Um, but anyways, on to something stupid that I did. So, as you guys know, or if you don't know, you will, you will soon find out that I... I'm currently an ICU nurse because I moved there from the emergency department with the ultimate goal in mind of I want to be a flight nurse. That's what I ultimately want to do. I need the ICU experience in order to be a flight nurse, so hence I'm at the ICU, which I hate every minute of, but I'm doing it just in the in the aspects of getting to my ultimate goal, my ultimate position. So, that being said, I don't I don't heed away from applying to positions when I see them open like the uh, the flight nursing positions and things like that when I see that they are available I will still I really want to get rid of this enderman I've never really taken on an enderman like this before so let's see how it goes so I'm looking at him. I have angered him, I think. I know if I stay with a block above my head, he's not supposed to be able to do much to me. Problem is, he's going to come back after me now. Where is he? I'm gonna stay like this. As long as I stay with a block above my head, I think I'm okay. I've now angered the man. Oh my god, I got five diamonds here? I didn't even see what that was. Now I'm afraid to move. Because, you know, he might have teleported into water. Might be why I'm not seeing him teleport anywhere else. He sounds really pissed off. Yeah, he's teleporting into water, so therefore he should have forgotten about me. Oh, whoa. Oh. Get back, get back. So I keep applying for these flight nurse positions. And I get very upset because at my hospital, when they advertise a flight nurse position, they the way they advertise it is that they say that you're required to have 18 months of nursing experience with 6 months in a specialty area. Now, I more than have that qualification. I worked in the ER for two years. I've now worked for six months in the ICU. So even if they don't count the ER as specialty experience, they would count the ICU six months that I now have that six months of experience. I know that they actually require two to three years of ICU experience before they will let you these guys knock it out. They can't. And the question is where is 
the spawner. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I just opened up the way for these guys. So it looks like this is where they're getting pushed to, if I'm looking at this right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Where are they coming from, though? Where are they coming from up here? They appear to be... This is like a hole to the surface. Oh, it's a squid. Oh, God. Ugh. There we go. Whoa. Torch. Is that my torch, or is that somebody else's torch? I mean, not somebody else's, obviously, but... You know what I mean. Is it the one I placed, or is it one a natural cave spawn torch? Okay, there's the spawner. There's the spawner. There's spiders. I don't know if they can get down to me or not. Okay, spawner down. I need to finish off these guys, though, before... Ah. Uh. Two of them down. I think there's one more up here somewhere. Oh, I can't do anything in this water when I'm poisoned. It's ridiculous. I can't even take that guy on right now because he's going to kill me. There. Uh, that Enderman is pissed. Okay, anyways, back to this. Whoa, 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 no, 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 please, please, dear God, no. I can't even... I can't even hit this spider. Does he not exist? Did I get him? Is he not really there? I don't understand. Ugh. Oh, well. This water needs to stop. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Why did I place that block? So anyways, I applied for these positions. There was a couple of them open. It took about a week. Then I got a response back saying, you have been declined in your request for transfer due to lack of prerequisite experience. And then it said, two to th or it said three years ICU experience. So, I finally got... Oh, Jesus Christ. I finally got fed up with the fact that I've done this multiple times. I know what the outcome is going to be, but I keep doing it because they keep posting these jobs with the description saying that I have the prerequisite experience. So, I wrote to... Oh, Jesus Christ. I wrote to the HR person, and I said, look. I said, you need to stop posting these positions out there saying that the experience required is one thing, but having the experience required actually be something else. And I quoted in it all the job description as it was posted, followed by my denial for transfer based on prerequisite experience, and said exactly like what everything was. I said, if you're going to have three years of experience, of ICU experience as the requirement for the job, you need to make that known up front. You need to put that on there so people do not waste their time. I said, I've been specifically changing positions in order to try to gain my prerequisite experience that I'm required to do to get this job because this is where my ultimate goal lies. And when you keep posting positions out there with the experience required as being what I already have and then denying me based on not having the minimum required experience, it's not even like you're denying me saying that 
I'm sorry there's other candidates right now or anything like that, but you're specifically saying that I do not meet the minimum requirements, which are not what are laid out there in the job description. So I ordered this email, this very long email related to how they need to fix their practices and post job descriptions based on the way that they actually want people to try to be applying for these jobs. I got a very snarky response back. Um, something on the lines of it was like a one sentence we only post the general job descriptions and we deal with the actual job description as you know the application process continues which I did not reply back to because I knew that it was not going to you know get me anywhere in doing that I just wanted to kind of point it out that it was very annoying that they uh, were having the practice the, the way they were having the practice on posting jobs so I I then I you know I take that whatever I'm you know whatever this this chick is pissed off you could tell by her her very one line response that she was not appreciative of the email that I sent her but really had nothing to say like no whoa hey buddy a dungeon spawner, or a, um, a mine shaft spawner. Nice. Buckets? I do actually need a bucket. I don't know if I need two, per se. I don't really need a saddle, either, but I'm taking it. Ooh, more buckets. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell? Oh, my God. Is this really a... I didn't even notice. I wasn't even paying attention. There's a cave spider spawner connected with a, uh, a zombie spawner. That's kind of cool. I have not... It's not the first time I've come across something like this, but it's kind of cool either way. Ah. I want to make this thing stop spawning, though, before things kill me. I think that's enough to make it stop spawning. I really hope so because I'm not doing so hot in the in the health department. Um, but whoa, whoa, whoa! Get the fuck out! Get the fuck out! Huh? Regen health. Mm, there he is. I hope you're not spawning. Whoa! Whoa! You see that guy? He was decked out in gold. He's royalty. I'm gonna go take out royalty. I'm gonna claim my rightful spot as heir to this throne. You have nothing, Skelly. Ugh. Oh my god, he dropped a gold chest piece. I know they actually did that. Your gold chest piece now belongs to me. So this is that spawner. This is that cave spider spawner. Making sure there's not another spawner down here that I didn't notice. So, either way, I ended up applying for another job that I saw posted. Coincidentally, an assistant director job in the emergency department became open. Um, I'm not ready necessarily to switch over to a management position, but if I was going to switch over to management, the place that I would do it is the emergency department. Like, the floor I work on now, we currently have an opening for the assistant manager too, and I would not take that job. For one, I, I despise the floor that I'm on. Oh, crap. Oh, 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 don't turn around. Don't turn around. Um, so... Get some... Okay, there are more enemy spiders here. It looks like there's another spider spawner. Let me like... Spider spawners everywhere in this place. Ho, 
hopefully I've sealed them off so I don't die. So I applied for this assistant nursing director position just because I'm more kind of curious to see what they have to offer, what it entails, how much it pays, just out of curiosity. Here's the type of candidates that they're actually looking for for this job. I, I do have... Holy crap. I do possess quite a bit of the skills and experience that they would, would require. I do have management in my past. I have... Uh, a master's degree. They require a bachelor's degree. I know it says master's degree preferred. I actually have a master's degree. It's not necessarily in nursing, but I am working on a master's degree in nursing. So I have a feeling that I'm I'm kind of the type of candidate that they're looking for, but I'm not sure because I don't know if they want like a lot of nursing experience, uh, which I have very limited compared to a lot of people who would be applying for assistant director positions, but I applied for it. I said, what the hell? I got a denial letter. Uh, not a shock to me, but then I read the denial letter and realized that there was a little bit more to it than just a denial, and it was from that same HR person because she is my official HR person. Everybody ends up getting like their own HR contact, essentially, and uh, she's my HR person, and this is the same woman that I had written this, this email to who obviously was not pleased there it is. Why are you there? Get, I, what are you doing in this spider spawner? You're going to get yourself hurt, buddy. Do I have too much experience? Am I not allowed to get more? Oh, come on. Just die. Just die. Oh, my. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I can't kill him, I can't kill him, I can't kill him, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. That was a lot of diamond that I lost. A lot of diamond. Look at all that good stuff. Look at all that good stuff. Oh, how sad. Hmm. Well, I know where I went down. I can get back to that stuff one day. I wasn't really going out with the hopes of staying out in that area. It'd be nice if I had made it back home with all that stuff, but obviously I did not. There's a lot of cool spawners there. But let me finish my story real quick before I end this episode. Basically, my denial letter said, you've been denied for this position because of the fact that your cover letter is for a flight nurse position. The way our system is, you just copy in your old resumes of any jobs that you've applied for, like internal transfers, and it kind of pops them over to the new one. I didn't pay any attention to the fact that my cover letter was there slated for a flight nursing position because that's what I had just been dealing with in the whole system when I when I was applying and getting angry at the you know at the bad practices of putting up the job postings. So not only did I now just completely go off on, you know, via email and this person about the way that their jobs were posted. But then I made this stupid mistake and ended up applying for this job, leaving an old cover letter in there, and I'm sure she's sitting behind her desk laughing her ass off right now that I can be complaining about how people aren't paying attention to the way these jobs are posted, and then I go through and I just don't pay any attention to what the hell I just applied for and leave an old cover letter on there and just look like a fucking idiot. Um, but I thought you guys would get a kick out of that story. That just happened yesterday. Um, I've actually got a lot more stuff to talk about. One of the things I want to talk about is the new map that I'm doing, Blade of Grid. Um, not sure how pleased I am with said map. Um, the game creator has contacted me and told me I need to use the chest of the other people and continue on. I might do that. I haven't decided yet. I don't know. We'll see what happens. You might see another episode of that. You might not. I'm going to try. I think I might try. I don't know. And see how it goes. Just one more episode, potentially. We'll see. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time.